Hey y'all. I've been looking at some ASMR videos of people with a southern accent. Now, when I look down like this, I'm looking at my laptop. Um, and my head hurts and I'm so sleepy. Excuse all this right here. I'm sitting on my bed. I had to put my cat out of the room because this is my fourth attempt at this video because he will not quit hitting buttons on my computer and making my little survey. I'm fixing to do go away. Now, a lot of these southern accents I'm hearing on the ASMR videos are put on. And now some of these people are doing a good job. But I just want y'all to hear a genuine southern accent if you're someone who's not from the south. I'm going to read this survey here and just talk to you some about different words and how different people I know say different things. If you just hear me talking, I'm not putting anything on. This is just how I talk. I'm being myself. The first question on this accent survey is, what's your name? My name is Jessica. Now, a lot of people are going to pronounce that Jessica. If I'm not careful, I do that myself. When I'm talking on the phone to somebody, I have to spell my first and last name. My last name is Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T. When I'm talking to someone on the phone, like for business reasons, they usually think I'm saying K-N-O-T-T, -T, like not Sperry Farm. My name is Jessica Knight, or Jessica Knight, which is how I say it when I'm not guarding myself and trying to be more understandable. Um, where I'm from, I grew up in middle Georgia, south of the fall line. I'm a teacher, and I work north of the fall line. Um, many of my students ask me where I'm from, which I think is odd because they're from Georgia too, but they're not used to the more country, southern sounding kind of accent. A lot of people, younger people, have kind of dropped their accent. Even when I was in high school, it was the it, it was not popular to talk the way I talk. And many people I know who did have an accent, when they got into high school, they kind of tried to get rid of it because they didn't want to sound Southern, which to me was always kind of sad because th that's my roots. I want to sound like who I am. Um, then there are a list of words it wants me to say for you. So the first word, I'm going to spell them so you know what I'm saying, because it, it, you may not know what I'm saying otherwise on some of these words. If you're not from the South or not familiar with my accent, um, A-U-N-T, aunt, I do not say aunt, I say aunt, roof, R-O-O-F, my roof is actually leaking over my apartment, makes me very sad. It's leaking in my living room. There's like a line where my ceiling is leaking if it rains really hard and at an angle. And it's right in front of my entertainment center. And I'm so worried it's going to get it. I had to get like a painter's drop cloth plastic thing to put over my stuff until they get someone out to look at it. And if if it if nothing happens soon, I'm probably going to pitch a fit because I've my printer, my television, and this handmade entertainment center that my family made for me. And if something happened to that, I would be livid. So, okay, where was that? A oh, route. R O U T E, route, like a mail route. I lived on Route 1 when I was a little girl. Then we got 911 addresses, and we don't have routes anymore. Wash, W A S H. Oil, O I L. Um, theater, T A T A T E R, or T A T A T R E. I pronounce them both the same, even though they're not quite the same thing. That's a whole nother discussion I don't want to talk about right now. Iron, I R O N. I'm anemic, so I take iron every day. Salmon, S A L M O N. Now, I know people who say salmon, and if I don't watch it, I catch myself saying that, but I know the L's supposed to be silent, so I try to say salmon. Caramel, C-A-R-A-M-E-L. Um, some people say caramel, some people say caramel. 
I usually say caramel. Fire, F-I-R-E. Water, W-A-T-E-R. Now my mama's last name is Waters, and she says Waters. I'm just telling people her name, but I don't pronounce it like that. Sure, S-U-R-E. Data, D-A-T-A. Now I know people who say data. Sometimes when I'm in a work business setting, I say data myself. I was on the data team or data team. My head hurts, I'm sorry. I was on the data team um, doing spreadsheets, linking stuff between spreadsheets, keeping track of student grades and information about test scores last year. And I say it data, like data from Star Trek. Ruin, R-U-I-N, crayon, C-R-A-Y-O-N, toilet, T-O-I-L-E-T, New Orleans or New Orleans. I actually alternate between those. It almost depends on what words I'm saying around it, how I say it, whether it makes more sense to have the softer sound or the harder sound on the end. Pecan. B-E-C-A-N. Now, I'm adamant about that. I cannot stand for somebody who is Southern, and I know them, and they're from Georgia. And they will not say pecan, and they say pecan, or pecan, because they don't want to sound country. It just bothers me. It's a pecan, and it's not a candy pecan. It's P-E-C-A-N. It's a nut. Both, B-O-T-H. Again, A-G-A-I-N, probably, P-R-O-B-A-B-L-Y, spitting image, that's too much to spell, Alabama, lawyer, L-A-W-Y-E-R, coupon, C-O-U-P-O-N, mayonnaise, M-A-Y-O-N-N-A-I-S-E, now I sometimes say mayonnaise, if I need someone to understand me. Syrup. I usually say syrup. S-Y-R-U-P. Syrup. If I'm in a restaurant and I'm ordering a certain kind of syrup for pancakes, I try to say it in two syllables. Just because I want people to understand me. I have to think about it though. It doesn't naturally come out that way. Um, pajamas. P-A-J-A-M-A-S. I'm wearing my pajamas now. They say our hearts leap. They're awesome. Caught, C A U G H T. Caught, like I caught the flu. I caught a fly ball. Playing softball. Orange, O R A N G E. Coffee, C O F F E E. Direction, D I R E C T I O N. Naturally, N A T U R A. L-L-Y, aluminum, and herbs, H-E-R-B-S. Then it says, what's it called when you throw toilet paper on the house? That is called DP. What's the bubbly carbonated drink called? Now, I think it means soda, and that's what I usually call it. When I read that question, the first thing I thought of was champagne. <laughs> now, it is common here, and sometimes I do this, to call any carbonated drink Coke or Coca-Cola. I think where that comes from um, is maybe just that Coke is an Atlanta thing. I don't know. But it's very common. If, if, I'm, if I tell someone, I'll meet you at the Coke machine, which I say sometimes, it might be a Pepsi machine, but they know what I mean. What do you call gym shoes? I usually call them tennis shoes or sneakers or running shoes. It depends on what what mood strikes me at the moment. What do you say to address a group of people? Y'all probably already figured out that I say y'all. Sometimes I say all of you, if it makes sense. Um... What do you call the kind of spider 
It has an oval shaped body and extremely long legs. Now I think it's talking about what I call a granddaddy long legs. Which I thought was always funny because my granddaddy has long legs. <laughs> um, I'm not afraid of them. My sister is. My mama doesn't like them much. I'm often, when I'm around family, the designated person to get these boogers out of the house. What do I call my grandparents? Me, Ma, and Granddaddy. Um, and I had, I also had a grandpa and a grandma. Um, but I grew up living next to my Me, Ma, and Granddaddy. What do you call the four-wheel contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? Sometimes I call it a cart. Most of the time I call it a buggy. What do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? That's the devil beating his wife. That's what that's called. Sometimes, um, I call it other stuff but I can't remember right now. What is the thing you change the TV channel with? It's a remote, because it's a remote control for the TV. And that's all I got right now. Those were all the questions, unless I missed something. Um, but that's how I talk. Some, some other things that I get picked on for how I say them. Pie. I say I'm going to bake a pie, I mean P-I-E, now then there's pie P-I, I'm a math teacher, there's not a whole lot of difference in how I say those two things, pen, pen, P-I-N and P-E-N, I'm going to say the same way, if I mean a pen you put animals in, I'll say in context, you'll be able to figure out what I'm talking about, if I say hand me that pen over there, I mean, a pen you write with. If I say I put a pen um, in some fabric to hold a hem in before I sewed something, I mean, a straight pen. To me, it's all the same thing. Um, that's all I can think of right now. I just felt like I should make an accent video after seeing this quiz when I was looking up Southern Accent ASMR because... I kind of think it's important for people to hear how Southern people really talk. Because um, it's different than stuff you see on TV. And it's actually different in every place. Because I'm from Georgia, I can listen to people talk. And I've lived all over Georgia. I've lived in Bainbridge, Valdosta, that's south way down south Georgia. Um... Cochran, and then the middle Georgia area below and above the fall line, just, um, I'm from a tiny town, actually I live between two tiny towns, not even in a town, most of my life I haven't even lived in the city limits, um, but my point that I was trying to make before I lost it was if you're from Georgia, you can hear people talk and you can tell what city they're from even. I can hear someone from Milledgeville and someone from Dublin and someone from Macon and someone from Cochrane and listen to their accent and I can tell you where they're from. Um, I have a Lawrence County accent, I guess, but then I've lived in Bainbridge. I've lived in different places. When I lived down in Bainbridge, my accent got thick. Because to start off with, I lived with a woman from Alabama, and she was just straight from the country. And living in South Georgia, the accents down there are thicker anyway. So I came home, and they were like, what has happened to you? You done got an accent. And I had an accent when I went down there, but it got a lot worse. And now it's just kind of, it's back to what it always was. Um... I used to be a lot more self-conscious about it and try to talk different. Now I'm just me. I mean, I, there ain't no reason to change for anybody. I just talk like I talk and I am who I am. I hope somebody somewhere 
has found this enjoyable. And if you didn't, if you watched it this far, you're just crazy. Because why would you watch this much of something you didn't like? But I'm fixing to go to bed. So good night.